This, of course, such a big week for so many people of faith. Easter, Ramadan, and Passover all celebrated this month. Christians, Jews, and Muslims are entering one of the holiest times of the year. But instead of the usual gatherings, those who celebrate are doing so virtually. CBS 46's Melissa Stern spoke with one local Jewish family who answers the question, why is this Passover so different from all other Passovers? Families around the world are preparing for the holidays, but this year it will be a much smaller gathering. We're going to be doing the Seder by our, in our house by ourselves, but with family on Zoom. Local Jewish families are planning virtual seders, a first for a majority of people. Because Passover is a holiday where you are commanded to invite people to come and eat and retell the story of Passover. So it's, it's a tradition that you have a lot of guests usually. The main ritual of Passover is the Seder, a festive meal that involves a retelling of the Passover story, celebrating the Israelites' exodus from Egypt and transition to freedom from slavery. On the one hand, not able to do the Seder in person with everybody, but also exciting that we are actually going to be with everybody on the holiday for the first time in a very long time. Usually, the Seder consists of many friends and family as they gather to sing songs, eat traditional Passover foods, and tell stories. This year is talking about the number of plagues, right? There are typically 10 plagues that we talk about for the Seder. This year, clearly, we have an 11th plague. This year will be the same, just virtually. Not any less celebratory or, or delicious. While it will be unusual, families are trying to find interesting and different ways to connect with everyone, regardless of the distance between them. There's a lot of things to be grateful for, and there's a lot of silver linings in this whole thing. The Seder ends by saying next year in Jerusalem. And I, I think instead of saying next year in Jerusalem, I, I think that we should say next year with everybody. Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.